Hi everyone, it's Shannon and welcome to today's video. So today's video is not what I planned because um, it is obviously, if you read by the title, it is about the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palettes. However, when I origin originally was going to do this, I purchased all three palettes and I was going to do a review of all three and do some comparisons and side by side and swatches and everything. However, they sent me two and um, the third one is not due to get here uh, according to UPS for another three days. So, um, and it was shipped out the same day, but I don't know what happened. But anyway, so this video is going to be about the jellyfish. Um, I did receive the jellyfish and the snake palette, but since I'm going to not do them all together, it makes sense to kind of just do three separate videos. So that's what I'm going to do today. So I'm going to first review the jellyfish, pa jellyfish palette, which is I have the owl because um funny enough i did this one um this is the jellyfish palette so you can see inside this is the palette um you can customize it um however i meant to customize the snake palette which i did so i actually have two palettes with the owl and um I, it's i can't tell them apart unless i open them so i i was just I don't know i screwed up but um but i like both i like the owl that's the one i wanted i just didn't want the snake i don't like snakes um i like the jellyfish i don't like jellyfish but i liked the, the the packaging but anyway um so i ordered both of them in the owl go figure but anyway <laughs> this is the jellyfish palette so this is what is inside so if you don't know um there are three palettes however there's four different types of packaging so when you're going when it finally goes to sephora and um, ulta or wherever it goes you can purchase um, just in its original packaging however if you go to hourglass you can choose which packaging you want and there's a jellyfish leopard and snake but then there's also this beautiful owl which I love. I think it's just gorgeous. The the cream color, it just it's just beautiful. And you can choose, you know, to put this with any of the palettes. So, anyway, this is a jellyfish. It's an owl, but it's a jellyfish palette. Let's get into it. Okay, so as I mentioned, these are the um hourglass ambient lighting i guess edit unlocked is what they're called this year and it states as our highly anticipated ambient lighting edit unlocked palette returns featuring artwork that celebrates the beauty of nature and helps unlock change to protect animal rights each palette includes new and best-selling shades for a glowing complexion in a single palette the ambient lighting edit unlocked collection includes limited edition palettes featuring snake leopard and jellyfish that support the non-human rights project in their efforts to secure fundamental rights for animals. Hourglass will donate 5% of annual profits for this collection to the non-human rights project. So the jellyfish palette, which is the one I'm going to be talking about today, is the lightest one. So the jellyfish is the lightest one, um, leopard is the medium one, and snake is the deeper one, which I would say it's more medium to tan i wouldn't say it's necessarily deep but it is definitely deep it's going to be too deep for me but the um jellyfish and the leopard i think are going to be ones that i can use the jellyfish for sure this is it now the jellyfish is one that has two finishing powders which is not my favorite um i think the snake palette is the one that has five brand new shades and there's only one finishing powder and three blushes um this one has two finishing powders two um, blushes and then the bronzer and the highlighter so this is my least favorite setup um last year i think only one of the three palettes had a bronzer this year all three do have a bronzer so that's i think uh, an improvement um but let's get into what the shades are so it says that this palette includes three best-selling shades two finishing powders and one blush um, along with three brand new shades a blush bronzer and highlighter to diffuse and enhance and add glow to the complexion so the um shades are so we'll have here so we have 
um, Diffuse Light, which is an existing shade. It is a warm pale yellow. Then you have a blush, which is a new shade. This is Rose Fusion, a cool mauve. Then you have the Ambient Metallic Strobe Lighting Powder. This is a new shade. It is an oval strobe light, which is a pale rose gold. So that's essentially the highlighter. Then you have the bronzer. This is a new bronzer shade. This is the Ambient Lighting Bronzer in Lunar Bronze, which is described as a matte warm bronze. Then you have the Ambient Lighting br Blush, which is diffused heat described as a vibrant poppy and then you have the last ambient lighting powder which is a finishing powder which is um, ethereal light which is cool translucent so um, I went and did some research as far as which palettes um, these have appeared in. now some of these might be existing shades that are standalone but I really wanted to see which palettes they had been in before because I think like if you are someone that's gonna buy a palette then you're gonna you know have the palettes like for me, I have some, I think I have one finishing powder, but I don't really buy the blushes or the bronzers. I buy the palettes like once a year. So this powder right here, the diffuse light was in Butterfly last year. And then this finishing powder was also in Butterfly. So these are the same two finishing powders that were in Butterfly. I did not get Butterfly, but these are the same two finishing powders that were in Butterfly, which makes sense because that was the lightest one. And then Jellyfish is the lightest one. And then you have um, the Blush Vibrant uh, Diffused Heat Vibrant Poppy. This was not in any palette. This is a standalone blush, but it hasn't been in a palette at least since 2020. Um, so 2020 is as far back as I went. So since 2020, this has not been in a palette. And, um, and then the other three shades are new. So that is it. So I think this is if you, um, you know, the, the, the finishing powders, you know, the repeat shades don't really bother me that much. It's really the blush and the bronzers. So if you've gotten palettes before and you're concerned about repeat shades, really the four shades that are important are not repeats, at least for palettes. Okay, so we're going to do some swatches. I'm going to swatch the um, finishing powders. Those are really kind of hard to swatch, but we're going to try. So this is Diffuse Light, which is a warm pale yellow. And then this is Ethereal Light, which is a cool translucent. Now for the blushes, this is the Rose Fusion, which is a cool mauve, the new shade. And then this is Diffused Heat, the vibrant poppy, the existing shade. Here is the bronzer. This is Lunar Bronze, the new shade. This is the Ambient Metallic Strobe Lighting Powder in Opal Strobe Light, also new, described as a pale rose gold. So that is the palette. So as you can see, it's definitely for a light skin tone, definitely gonna work for me, really pretty. I like that there's a light blush, kind of a more vibrant blush. Um, I think this is a really gorgeous palette if you have a light skin tone. Okay, so what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to put, since there's two blushes, I'm going to put one on each cheek and then do the bronzer and the highlighter just so you can see how it's going to look on my face. Um, so we're going to start with the top blush, which is the Rose Fusion, the Cool Mauve. And I'm just going to go in just on the cheek. And this, I believe, was the one that was more vibrant. So I do love... I love these palettes. These palettes are just gorgeous. Um, I think they're, I love taking these on, you know, to travel. I think they're so convenient. Um, I just, I absolutely love them. So this is Rose Fusion. Now this is gorgeous. This is a, the cool mauve, really, really pretty. So you can see that that's how it's going to look on, you know, light, light, medium skin tone. And I use my Sigma switch and I'm gonna go in with that vibrant, um, the diffused heat. So this is the vibrant poppy. And now when I swatched it, this one was a little lighter, but so I think it just needs a little bit more. Um, you need to add a little bit more if you want it to pop, but it's a really pretty, pretty shade. Okay, and that is diffused heat. Okay, so from the Jellyfish palette, palette, this is Rose Fusion. This is Diffused Heat. Those are the two blushes in the Jellyfish palette. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with this bronzer, which is a Lunar Bronze, which is described as a matte 
warm bronze and I really do like this bronze um, this bronzer it looks like a really really pretty shade um, warm but not orangey so it looks like a really pretty shade I'm gonna put it on and just see how I like it okay so that is the bronzer gorgeous bronzer and what I like about this bronzer it doesn't have sometimes the hourglass bronzers can have a little bit of a sheen to it or um, you know and I, I like more of a matte bronzer so I do like that this is a matte bronzer it says it's the description is matte warm bronze I do like that about this bronzer so not that I don't like the other ones but I do prefer the matte bronzer so I think it is gorgeous Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with the highlighter, which is this one right here. And it is the Ambient Metallic Strobe Lighting Powder Opal Strobe Light. And it is described as a pale rose gold. So it's really pretty. Um, you know, I this one is really gorgeous. Um, really, really pretty. I think this one is, this, this one, I, I really honestly, when I, picked up all three. I didn't think I was going to keep the, uh, the jellyfish palette. Um, I, I feel like the one that's going to be most suited for me is leopard. However, I'm really liking this palette so far. Um, really, really pretty. You've got like, you can just see it's just enough. Um, I'm going to put a little bit, I just have a, um, a very simple cream eyeshadow on my lid matte so i'm going to put this kind of on the brow bone as well because i don't really have anything on the brow bone and it's very very subtle really really pretty but um i am loving this okay and what i'm going to do now is i'm going to go in with um, diffuse light which is the pale warm yellow and i'm going to go over that all over my face just to kind of do a finishing powder um, to kind of set the face. Now, the only thing about these palettes is this brush is pretty big, so you kind of have to be very careful when you're getting so that you don't get other powders. That's the only problem if you're using a bigger brush. Um, so I'll just be very careful with that. And that's what I like when they do put the finishing powders close to each other. When they're apart, um, that's a little bit harder. And then what I'm gonna do now with the ethereal light, which is the cool translucent. I'm gonna take that under the eye because it is the brighter shade. So I'm just gonna see how that looks under the eye and set the under eye to kind of brighten it. So again, um, I love, the one I usually use under my eye is dim light. So I've never used this one, but I think this is very similar. Um, and I think it really is pretty. So let me just go in with a little bit more of the diffuse light all over and yeah that is it so i have used all six shades of the jellyfish palette even though it's an owl and um i really like it so far okay so um i did want to compare to the other some of the other palettes so this is jellyfish and then the one i have i have two um, i didn't buy the ones in 2021 i bought 2020 and 2022 so this is jellyfish this is the lighting edit, edit sculpture so you can see there now the only re-existing shade here is um, diffuse light which is this one right here and the one in the top corner that is the only um, existing shade that is in both but they are um, everything else is different but we will do some side by uh, swatch comparisons now and then the other comparison I did want to do is elephant because that's the other one I have so this is again jellyfish this is elephant now none of the shades are the same um, this one is going to be more comparable to leopard um, so this one I think is more comparable to butterfly of last year I think there's two shades that were in butterfly the two finishing powders this is going to be more comparable to leopard so those are the two um, but let's go ahead and swatch all the all three next to each other so first we'll try and swatch the finishing powders those are hard to swatch because they're supposed to like disappear on the skin but we're gonna do it anyway so this is going to be from the jellyfish palette this is ethereal light cool translucent 
Use light, a warm pale yellow. Here is from Sculpture. This is also diffuse light. So you can see they are the same shade. This is dim light. And now from Elephant, this is dim light, so same shade. And then soft light. Those are the six finishing powders in those three palettes. Two of them are actually, there's like a couple repeats, but those are the three palettes. Okay, so moving on to the blushes. This is the Jellyfish palette. This is Rose Fusion. And this is Diffused Heat. Now from the Sculpture palette, this is the Vibrant Flush. And this is Mood Exposure. And then from Elephant, this is iridescent coral and radiant rose so those are the six blushes and i think there's a big variety so if you have sculpture or elephant um there is a big difference i think with the um big enough difference anyway with the jellyfish palette so those are the six blushes in those three ambient lighting palettes Okay, so now we're going to move on to the bronzers and we're going to start with the Jellyfish palette. This is the Lunar Bronze. In Sculpture, this is the Natural Bronze Light. And then in Elephant, this is the Lustrous Bronze Light. So those are the three bronzes. I think I like, honestly, I think I like the one in the Jellyfish palette the most. This one was always very light on me. I never really liked this one. I mean, it was pretty, but it was always very light. It took a lot to build it up. This one's pretty, but it was a little bit more orangey. This one is definitely the prettiest one. Okay, so now we're moving on to the highlighters and we're gonna start again with Jellyfish. This is the Opal Strobe Light. From Sculpture, this is the Glistening Strobe Light. And then from Elephant, this is the Beaming Strobe Light. So definitely, this is definitely the darkest, but this is more of a medium palette. Um, I don't know, this one's definitely different. It's definitely, you can tell that it's a rose gold. Um, this one has always been the most subtle. This is from Sculpture. This one is always a little dark. Not that it was dark on me, but it was definitely darker. This one I just, the one from Jellyfish is just absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so my final thoughts on my first impression of the Jellyfish palette, I actually, like this a lot more than I thought. Um, I wasn't going to, if I was only going to pick up one, I was going to pick up Leopard. Um, even though there's five repeat shades, um, two of them I have, but I have in other palettes, there wasn't, that, that's the one that I thought was going to be most suited for me. I, ha I don't have it yet, so I don't know. But this one I really like. Um, I like the two finishing powders. I would have preferred to have only one finishing powder, but I can definitely use, I would use this one on my face and this one on the other under eye to brighten up and use it kind of more the highlight part of the face, but not as a highlighter. Um, the blushes are gorgeous. The bronze is by far my favorite bronzer that I have. This is my third palette. Um, so I really do like this. I do wish there was one less finishing powder and three blushes. I like that format. But if you have Sculpture, if you have Elephant, um, Sculpture I liked, but I always felt like some of the shades were just not as vibrant. This is definitely more vibrant. Um, Elephant, if you, I, I can't compare this to Butterfly. I never had Butterfly. I think if you had Butterfly, then maybe this one's kind of similar. I don't know. But if you only had Elephant, I think there's a big enough difference. So I think it's really pretty. Um, I will be doing a comparison of all three when I get the Leopard. So in the Leopard video, I will be doing swatches of all three of the existing palettes for this year. Um, for the Snake palette, I'll be doing exactly what I'm doing today, and I'll be doing that for the Leopard as well. But for the Leopard palette, I will be swatching all three together exactly how I did it today. So stay tuned for that video. I just need to get that palette to, in order to do that. I like it. Now, don't recommend getting all three. They're $90 a piece. Um, yeah, I don't. But I think picking up one of these is fantastic. I think these are great. I love these for vacation. I think they're gorgeous. Are they necessary? No. Do I love them? Absolutely. Um, 
but we, it'll be to be determined as far as which one would be my favorite. Snake is going to be too deep for me. I've already seen it. I'll be reviewing that one tomorrow. I'm kind of doing the same thing. I can definitely make it work, but it's not made for my skin tone. Um, and it's, it's absolutely stunning though. But um, which one I like will like jellyfish or leopard more? I'm not sure. Initial impressions from the swat from the pictures was going to be leopard. However, I really like this one. So I don't know. We'll see. Um, I was really only intending on keeping one uh, and I thought it was going to be leopard. I, will I keep two? God, um, my, my wallet hopes no, but I don't know. We'll see. Uh, but anyway, I think this is gorgeous. So if you're considering it and you were kind of curious as far as the other swatches, hopefully those swatches help you decide whether or not, unfortunately I don't have butterfly, so I can't compare that one. But if you have sculpture or elephant, I do think there is enough of a difference. But my sculpture, it's three years. Um, it's probably expired, but it's still got longevity. Like it's still, the powders still work. Um, and I have used that one a lot. You can tell I've used it and I haven't hit pan. So these do last a while. But anyway, I think it's gorgeous highly recommend. I don't have a promo code. I wish I did. Um, any links below are affiliate links. I do appreciate if you use them, but if you don't, no worries. Um, but it does help my channel and helps me purchase these types of things because I did not get this in PR. Um, I did purchase the, this myself. So anyway, if you like this video, click like, click and subscribe. That way you get a notification every time I post a new video and stay tuned for the video for Snake, probably following tomorrow. Bye, everyone.